So we are going to draw an internal tangent now to two unequal circles. Okay. Internal tangent to two unequal circles. So here are our unequal circles. And I'm going to be and the large one with the center A. Okay. A intersects the horizontal line at point B, and then B intersects the horizontal line at point C. As we always do, we'll try to draw a perpendicular bisector to the horizontal line, joining centers B to centers and A. So, open to my compass to over twice half the distance between B and A. Distance above more above half the distance. Okay. So I draw my my arcs that they help me to draw the perpendicular. join draw a line through the arcs with the help of my rule I'm gonna draw my line with the help of my rule now that our perpendicular is drawn we can place a compass and place our compass and draw our semicircle. Remember, the reason for drawing the circle is to find a place where you can locate a line that will be parallel to the tangent. So we draw a semicircle open to Open to either point B or point A. So there is a semicircle. Our target is to draw any line that is touching any point in the semicircle and also passes through point B. Okay, now if we do that, any line that we draw parallel to that new line that will touch the circle, it will be tangential, literally tangential to the circle with center A. Okay, so now taking, we are going to draw another arc such that BC will be equal to DE. Okay, so we are we are going to find point E on this this line joining the centers. Okay, 
such that the distance from D to E will be equal to the distance from E to C. By that, we are going to, again, take this distance from center B to point C, okay, then stand on E, stand on point E, and then draw an arc that cuts this center line. And that's going to be our point E. Now that we have point E, we can also stand at the center A. We stand at the center A. And we open our compass to point E. strike an arc that goes all the way to cut the semicircle. Okay. Now the point at which the arc cuts the semicircle, we are going to call that point H. Okay. Now that we have point H, remember we said that we, our target is to draw a line that will touch the the large semicircle and also go, go through the center of the small circle. So we are going to join point B to point H with our rule. It's a line from the center to point H. So I'm going to join this line with join point, point H and point A as well. Okay, so these two lines, BH and AH, are actually at perpendicular to each other within this semicircle. Okay, now if we draw if we draw another line to line BH, which is parallel to it, you draw another line parallel to line BH, and it goes through a tangent on the on the large circle, it will also form a tangent to the small circle. So that's what we are going to try to do. We are going to try to draw a parallel line to line BH, but know that this. I'm going to repeat this again, that this is a perpendicular Okay, this is a perpendicular. We are going to draw a line to touch this. End. So our line is going to be parallel to this. You can use your, your you can set your your straight edge and your t square to do that straight edge sorry t t straight edge and then your your set square to draw that parallel line so you can set your t your straight edge and your t square as i've shown and you just you can see that that this part of the this part of the 45 degrees set square is aligning with line DH. Okay, so any other line we draw as we, we draw the edge of the set square away will also be parallel to line DH. Okay, so I'm going to drag my to another point where it's another point.
Okay, so something like that. Okay, so something like this. Then I can achieve my tangential line, a tangent line. But um, we left out something. This is actually supposed to be point J. This is supposed to be point J. Okay, so my line will go through here. And this is my point J. So I'll draw my parallel line, my parallel line um, through point J and it's touching the smaller circle. Okay. Now what we have fundamentally done here is to draw a, a line in within, within of the semicircle. And we know that if we draw a parallel line to that, that line we've already drawn, Says that it touches one of the one of the circles. Okay, then we are going to achieve our tangent. So this new line, this new line we have drawn. If we should draw another line from the center, from the center of the small circle to the point of tangency that line will also be perpendicular to line BJ and line, the, the, the tangent line. So that set square and straight is set as this, set as in the current position that team, we can draw our perpendicular line from center, through tangent points and uh, we are going to call tangent points on the small circle we are going to name that as k that's over here over here we are going to have our points We are going to have our point K. So we have our line. And that line cuts the small circle at the point K. Said it's also that line to the center is also perpendicular to the tangent. Now, since this is the main tangent we want, is the tangent. But this is why we've been doing all what we've been doing. We have to deepen that line so that it stands out from all the other construction lines. Okay. So there we've achieved our tangents. Achieved our tangents. Achieved our internal tangent to two unequal circles, the large one and the small one. 